Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm filming my annual favorite fall lipsticks video. I was stressed this year. I was stressed making this edit this year. I had so many amazing options to choose from, but I narrowed it down to these 13 formulas and these are the ones I see myself using the most this fall season. I do have a couple shades in some of the formulas to mention here, but I think you're going to love this year's edit I put together. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. I wanted to recommend my favorite lip balm because with fall weather comes dry lips. Technically this isn't even a lip balm, but it's the best for curing dry lips like overnight or even within a couple hours. I use this nipple cream <laughs> and when I tell people this they get like a weird reaction and I'm like why are you why are you being weird? It's not like it actually comes from nipples. It's this Lens in O one. It's like pure lanolin so it's not vegan but lanolin heals my lips so quickly. It's incredible. It's incredible. So needed to mention it. I'm not going to talk about it all day although I could let's get into the fall lips. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the shade I'm wearing today, just so that I don't keep you on edge all day here, but it's the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestros. I have two in this section. The one I'm wearing today, I believe, is the shade 209 Palazzo. It's a gorgeous warm brown. I did pair it with the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Strong today, just to make it look extra dark, but it has a gorgeous warmth to it. And I adore this formula so much because it feels like a lip souffle. It's very lightweight, but it's very impactful, and it gives you a long wearing color. So I'm going to spread this specific shade I'm wearing right now so you can see the undertone of it. It's very rusty. And the other shade I had in here, which is a little bit different, is 216. And this one has a little bit of a sheen, which I love because since it's such a dark color, that has the tendency to make your lips look smaller. But since it has that kind of sheen to it, it just volumizes your lips so much more. It's also kind of a similar color. It's just a lot lighter and a bit more red in comparison. They're very similar, but gorgeous. The formula is so nice. These are some of my all-time favorite lipsticks to whip out in the fall time. They just wear beautifully and they have such unique colors. They look like matte liquid lipsticks, but they're just comfortable and they have that soft, silky feeling. Kind of resembles one of those lipsticks that have silicone in them. Just that cloudy feeling that's so gorgeous to wear. So those had to be in here. Oh, and I have two honorable mentions here. I got these after putting this edit together, but I think they would be great fall additions. I only swatched these on my hands and on my lips. I didn't wear them for a long period of time, but these two shades also have that pearlescence running through it. It's 215 and 531. 531 looks like a beautiful dusty rose shade. I think it would look beautiful with all those blushes I've been obsessing over. By the way, would you guys like to see an updated fall favorite blush video? Let me know. And here is 215. See, they're a bit softer in comparison. I'll swatch them again, my bad. I'm too excited, I'm a bit scatterbrained for this video. It's one of the videos I look forward to making the most every year. <laughs> Oh goodness. So here they all are. Starting over here, we have 215, then we have 216, then we have 531, and then the one I'm wearing, 209 Palazzo. Gorgeous. Fall staples of mine. Next up, I have three formulas in my hand, but I want to talk about the specific shade. So this is Faded Clementine from M Cosmetics. I love how they have multiple finishes in the same color. The one I prefer to whip out in the fall is their Lip Cloud version. I just am more drawn into these more matte finishes during the fall. They also have it in the Lip Cushion as well as their True Gloss. Same color, just different finishes, so it fits whatever you prefer. Here they all are. So Lip Cloud, Lip Cushion, and then the True Gloss. But this is one of the most beautiful oranges I have ever come across. It's kind of yellow tone. It's truly clementine-y. A lot of oranges on the market lean a little bit red or like a deeper orange, whereas this one leans a little bit yellow and I find it to be so flattering, especially if you have olive undertones or neutral undertones. I think it's a lot more flattering than the red ones. But this is so unique 
and I love wearing this specifically to a pumpkin patch because I want to fit in with the pumpkins, <laughs> but they're gorgeous. I whip these out every fall and I believe these have been featured in every one of these videos in the past, so they needed to make a comeback. The Lip Cloud version is very soft. It's kind of reminiscent of the Armani Lip Maestros. They have that kind of whipped texture. It's very soft. These ones do dry down to a little bit more of a transfer proof finish. It's not completely transfer proof, but it's just a lot more comfortable and it has that gorgeous matte finish. Their lip cushion is kind of like a tinted balm, so it's going to hydrate your lips and keep them feeling moisturized and plumped, which is awesome for the fall months, especially if you're dealing with that dry lip problem. And then the True Gloss is just a gloss. <laughs> so this next one is one of my favorite products I have in my collection in general. It's so cool, it's unique, it's fun, and the formula itself is just stunning. It's perfection in my eyes. This is the Rouge Beauty Lip Quad. This is the signature one in the powder formula. I love how cool and unique this is. This is the one that I find to be the most worth it because you get four very different colors in one quad. This formula is so cool because it goes onto your lips just like a powder would and it leaves the appearance of a stain or it's just like your natural lip tint. You can also build them up to get a very opaque finish, very dramatic look if you'd like, or you can just pat on a little bit for a little like movie lip tint. And you might be asking why not just use an eyeshadow? And this is a very specific formula because it looks like a powder, it feels like a powder going on your lips, but when it meets moisture, like if you're drinking or just talking, it doesn't darken like an eyeshadow would if it got wet. That doesn't happen when these meet contact with dampness. <laughs> it's awesome. It's really cool. They're long wearing. They almost do tint your lips a little bit so they don't just disappear on you as you talk. They're incredible and I just adore custom making my own shade. I'll do bright red and the dark red to get kind of a halfway point. Let's try this lighter pinky shade with hmm, this mauve with this dark color and you can create like ombre looks you can just get creative with it and it's really fun to use. They made something really fun and special here. I wanted to quickly talk about another one that I love to bring out every fall season and this is a beauty community staple, I feel like. It's the Glossier Generation G in the shade Leo. Now these are really fun because they are impactful but they're super sheer at the same time. This shade Leo is a beautiful kind of, I would say like it's a neutral, slightly warm brown. You see that? it's pretty. It almost gives like a powdery finish to your lips, but it just makes it look like a lip tint and I just adore it so much. It's very subtle, but it's perfect for fall, especially if you're doing like a very smoky, heavier eye. It's a perfect one to pair that look with so it's not too, too much. It's just perfect. Now let's talk about these Rare Beauty lipsticks for a couple minutes. There are four shades that I find to be perfect for autumn, and I love how they have corresponding lip liners, so if you wanna have an identical match to the lipsticks, it's awesome. Or you can mix and match them, like use a darker lip liner with one of the lighter shades here to get more dimension, and to get more of an ombre lip. So let's get into them. Number one, being strong. This is a no-brainer. I'm so excited to create a look using this full on. It's such a dark, dark brown. It's stunning. I'll spread it out so you can see the undertone. It's like perfectly neutral. It's almost plum leaning, if you can see, but it's so rich and so beautiful for a brown. It doesn't really lean super red, which a lot of dark browns do. So it's very unique to my collection. It stands out amongst the rest of the things I have. The next one is the shade Wise, which is a softer brownie shade which also has some kind of cooler toned, taupey accents to it, which I find to be so beautiful. This would look amazing paired with a plum look or like a neutral look as well. The next one is Gifted, which is the one I've been wearing the most as of late. It's such a stunning red-ish. It's a very muted brick. And the last one I wanted to mention is Bold, which has kind of like a salmon-y, like muted red undertone to it too. It just has more cherry accents. I think these four are so stunning. And I love this lipstick formula because it feels like a whipped lipstick. It feels very lightweight and airy-like when you apply it. It glides on very easily. I love the little component, but I do find that they knock out a little bit quick, but just be wary of that and you'll be fine. The formula is worth this being knocked out a little bit more. 
they almost feel like they apply like a sheer lipstick it's very lightweight that whipped feeling but they're super impactful and they're very opaque and not streaky whatsoever i highly 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 recommend these they have some really fun fall shades here i'm so excited to be talking about this next one here it's been a favorite formula of mine but the color is so so nice this is the tower 28 lip gloss in the shade sesame i've worn this so much and i feel like i've been bragging about it on my channel for a while now ever since it's launched they did give me a discount code for the month i wanted to quickly mention that it's julia 15 and it's good until september 30th they're they're awesome so thank you this lip gloss formula has been a favorite of mine for years it's very volumizing it doesn't have a lip plumper but it almost plumps your lips anyways because it fills in all of your lip lines and it has a very beautiful glass effect here's the shade sesame on the back of my hand so it's that nice dusty deeper rose it's so flattering on so many skin tones and this is just perfection i love their tinted lip glosses because they have a good amount of pigment to them but they never look streaky they're very even on the lips and they wear a pretty long time and they're also very hydrating like whenever i wear one of their lip glosses i feel like my lips have been nourished they're awesome it's almost like a lip saver and a beautiful lip gloss in one i i'll never have enough <laughs> I'll never stop bragging about these on my channel and I'm so happy about this beautiful sesame shade Stunning. Also, they were the ones who sent me these really cute band-aids. So I appreciate you <laughs> This next one. I was so excited to wear all throughout fall I wore it in my last video my drugstore video. This is the Burt's Bees wine Wednesday lip balm This is one of their gloss and glows part and that's their actual name this is very similar to Clinique Black Honey, but way more affordable and it doesn't smell like old makeup. It has like a really fun fruity scent. So there it is on my on the back of my hand. I actually do have Black Honey, I'll whip it out real quick. The Burt's Bees one is just a little bit more red and a little bit more glossy in comparison. There's more pigment in the Burt's Bees one, but there's Clinique Black Honey and there's Wine Wednesday. So you can see they are so glossy but sheer at the same time but they add gorgeous pigmentation to your lips and they also feel quite hydrating such a cute formula i would recommend these a ton there's only one that i wouldn't recommend out of the four shades that they offer it's the the pink one that one doesn't do anything it's just like a a sheer lip balm <laughs> but the other three have great pigmentation but this is the one i'm most excited to rock all fall long this next lipstick just embodies fall, just through the packaging and the formula and just everything else about it. So this is the Merit Signature Lipstick in the shade L'Avenue. It is such a gorgeous sheer brown. Now this lipstick formula is fun because you can either wear it super sheer or you can build it up to a more bold finish. So there it is full on and there it is just with one swipe. The color is stunning. It's super lightweight. It almost feels like a glossier version of the Generation G lipsticks from Glossier. They just have more of a sheen to them and they're a bit more hydrating. And the packaging is just like, come on, hello? These are stunning lipsticks. I do hope that they bring out more colors. I know their current lineup is stunning. I just selfishly want more. Their lip products are just perfection. This is a gorgeous kind of rusty red. So perfect. I love going for these rusty reds before transitioning into the bright reds for winter. It's just everything to me. This is my favorite season for makeup. <laughs> You know I had to include one of these in this video. This is the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain. This is the shade Spicy Sienna. So this is the newest one to my collection, but it's an immediate need for this video. It's so cute. It's kind of like a more corally shade, but it does have some fall essences to it. It has some oranges, some reds, some corals. It's cool. It's really nice and it deepens as you wear it. So this is it freshly applied, but once it's set, it kind of deepens up and it's stunning. So it's kind of brighter compared to all the other colors I have mentioned so far in this video, but I kind of like that vibrancy, especially at the beginning of fall when you're transitioning from those really fun, bright summer looks to fall looks. It's just something gorgeous. So there it is full on. And then when you wipe it off, it leaves, I didn't leave it on for long enough, but there's a little hint <laughs> of the stain. These are gorgeous. I'm such a fan of these lip products. I pick one up pretty much every time I go to the drugstore if they have different colors in stock. 
They're stunning. They're very lacquer-like. The finish of them when they're on immediately reminds me a lot of the Lancome, the Absolu lip lacquers. So reminiscent of those. I love those with my whole entire being and these give me that essence. Yeah, that gorgeous, lacquery, beautiful, glossy finish and then it stains your lips. So it's really nice and long wearing and you don't have to worry about them during the day whatsoever. Adore these. Now I had to mention this Fenty Beauty Poutsicle lip stain in the shade Berry Banger. I didn't think I was going to like this when I first received the four shades, but it is so gorgeous on. It's like a different kind of purple. I don't have any kind of purple lip products like this in my collection at all. It's kind of cool toned, kind of warm toned, very purple, but also kind of wine at the same time. These ones don't Super compared to the e.l.f. ones, I have realized these ones have kind of a thinner feeling to them. They feel like a true gloss instead of like that lacquery kind of tacky feeling. And I don't mean tacky like in a bad way, I just feel like they are more adhered to your lips compared to like an actual gloss. These ones have a very silky feeling, they're very lightweight and wispy feeling on your lips if that makes any sense and these ones stain a lot better or like a lot quicker than the elf ones but this shade is stunning i'll show you what it looks like when i wipe off the first layer that's the stain it leaves behind and this on top of your natural lip color is so gorgeous and i have seen this on a couple different skin tones and it's stunning on everyone i really hope that they restock them or they're restocked by the time this video goes up but yeah, had to quickly mention it. Sorry for rubbing it in your face if, if it's not back yet. <laughs> and the last section is quite hefty. It's all of my MAC favorites and I have quite a few here. So I wanted to start off with my favorites to whip out in the fall. These are the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Colors. I have some very beautiful, deep, vibrant shades here. So these are very cloud-like kind of similar to the Armani Lip Maestros, but just a little bit thicker feeling. They are a lot more whipped as well, and they do not have a sheen to them whatsoever once they're on your lips. And they have quite a few formulas in their Powder Kiss family now, so I'm going to mention a few others too and compare them to each other as well. So here are the four I wanted to include this season. So the first one over here, starting over here, we have Pretty Pleats. Then we have Marrakesh Mare. Then we have Make Love to the Camera. And lastly, this gorgeous deep red is Fashion Sweetie. Lovely. And as you can see, there's no sheen to them whatsoever. They wear just like a liquid lipstick would, but very comfortable. They have that cloudy feeling once again, that silicone slippy feel. And I love the applicator of these. At first I was not sold when I first got these a couple years ago, but they have like this little hourglass shape with a ball on the end. And it actually helps to get a solid lip line very easily. And you can flip it on its side to get a very opaque, bold lip effect. So those are my favorite shades in the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Colors, but their most recent addition to the Powder Kiss family are the Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Sticks, and I adore these. These remind me like of old-fashioned times. I don't know why. They remind me of those long cigarettes or the cigarette holders with the cigarette at the end. I just feel like such a classy broad whenever I wear one of these. Of course, they have some beautiful colors in these. I'm gonna leave this, these swatches so you can see how the formulas differentiate on the back of my hand. But I wanted to include my two favorites for fall in this lineup. So we have Sweet Cinnamon and Over the Taupe. Those two right under it. And you can see at the edges how much more blurring these, this formula is. And I love its slim stick because it's such a nice size to get precise application. And they're just so beautiful. I would say that this is like a combination of the liquid lip colors and the actual MAC bullets. I would put them right in the middle. It's like a perfect mix of the two. But these two are really pretty shades that I don't have in the other formulas. Super cute. And then lastly, like I just hinted, I have two shades and the Powder Kiss Bullet Lipsticks. So I have Marrakesh Mirror, so a repeated shade here, and Devoted to Chili, which you can see down there. And this formula is no stranger to my channel. I think this is still my favorite out of the three. I love all three, but this is the one I always, always, always reach for. I love to dab it on in the center of my lip to make it look like a lip powder and like a blotted lip. It's so easy to achieve, but they all have a place 
in here. Here is the whole palette of the MAC colors. I'm such a MAC gal. And I love, love, love that they expanded the Powder Kiss family over the years. It makes my soul so happy. And there we have it. Those are all of the lipsticks I am so excited to wear this fall season. Let me know if you wanna see a part two. I feel like I could do a part two. And there has been some new fall lipsticks coming into my collection, so maybe at the end of the season I can do another one with the newer editions or something. Let me know if that's of interest and let me know about that autumn blush video as well. But that's going to be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a like. I will list and link all of the lipsticks I mentioned in today's video in the description down below, so feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys!